The slope assist basic mode will automatically grade to a slope with you always in control of the blade. Now let's look at a more advanced setting where you can actually save a recall value in the display itself. In order to save a recall value, simply hit the cycle button. You'll see the recall value below the actual blade slope. You can save a recall value for the main fall, you can save a recall value for the blade slope, and you can have the system automatically control both main fall and blade slope. In order to change the recall value, simply increase or decrease the arrows on the navigation screen, or you can use the match slope button that will transfer the current blade position to the recall value. Now that we have the recall value saved in the display, it's time to activate the automatic mode. To do that, simply hit the yellow button on the right hand joystick just like we did in the basic mode. If at any time you need to turn the system off, simply hit the yellow button on the right hand joystick and you'll see the automatic symbol turn back to a hand. If you have any questions while you're on the machine, simply hit the help button and you'll be able to navigate through an instruction menu. So now we've shared with you how to activate slope assist, how to run slope assist in the basic mode, how to save a recall value in the display, and how to return to that recall value automatically. Slope assist will allow you to get your work done a lot faster with fewer passes and less effort. Currently it's available on D3K2 through D5K2 and will be coming on larger dozers in the near future.